This is the big picture, etc. The big picture is our TV show Friday nights on RT America, and in between we could pop up anywhere. We're on Block Island, Rhode Island, where I live, and it is also home to the USA's first offshore wind farm. This is going to be very big, and among the talk radio loudmouths and politicians and other climate change deniers, you hear talking down renewable energy. We're going to bust the myth about wind farms killing birds. It's a, a red herring to think that wind turbines uh, cause a lot of bird deaths compared to other sources. So sure, wind turbines do kill birds, but the rate is much smaller uh, than uh, even coal or gas. It's like one-tenth. There was a study done uh, a few years ago where it looked at the wind turbine kills uh, for bir of birds compared to coal, gas, and even nuclear energy. And compared to fossil fuels, particularly coal and gas, wind turbine deaths were one-tenth per unit energy generated than coal or gas. And that's because of the air pollution from fossil fuel sure. uh, emissions, as well as they, you know, there's a lot of infrastructure, building, birds are killed by buildings, and by the habitat loss. And then if you compare it to other sources of, of bird deaths, I mean, in the U.S., the Fish and Wildlife Services estimates about 500,000 bird deaths due to wind turbines, all the wind turbines in the U.S., but that pales in comparison. 10 to 50 million birds are killed by communication towers. One billion birds are killed each year in the United States due to buildings, and three billion are killed by cats. And so this is a, just a complete red herring. It's just out of proportion to, to what's really relevant. What if we do nothing and just continue business as usual electricity generation? Oh, if we continue business as usual electricity generation and other and for other sectors as well, uh, the climate problems we face are going to get much worse. I mean, right now we the world is one degree Celsius warmer than it was over a hundred years ago, and if it goes to one and a half degrees Celsius, that's considered a tipping point where lots of more damage than is already occurring will occur. I mean, right now we're seeing wildfires going out of control. Uh, we're seeing more severe uh, hurricanes because they're more intense hurricanes. Uh, air pollution gets worse due to higher temperatures. I mean, worldwide right now, at least four to seven million people die from air pollution each year uh, from coal, oil, gas, and biofuel air pollution. And that's going to get, get, get worse. Uh, we have shifts in agriculture as well due to uh, higher temperatures, higher sea levels. Ultimately, if we melt all the ice on Earth, the sea, seas will rise 70 meters. I mean, 70 meters is like almost a football field. Uh, and that will flood 7% of the world's land. And most people live along the coast. So this is, and then we'll have more heat stroke, heat stress. More people are going to die of famine and heat stress. And so there, there's a looming catastrophe in the future. And this is not just being, you know, scare, these are not scare tactics. These are real things that are happening today that are going to get worse and worse over time.